Welcome everyone, it is John and Heather, and we're back with another one tank trip, guys. And today, we're in Morristown, Tennessee, and we're gonna see what this town has to offer, so follow us. Okay, and our first stop in Morristown is one of the most beautiful structures that is here. And that is the Rose Center. Now, this was built in 1892, and it was the first co-ed high school in this area. And if you look really closely right here, they have nice little rose designs above these windows on the turrets. I wonder if the bells are still up there. Now, this is now an art center it's an art museum and this is just a gorgeous structure we're going to go in and see if they'll let us film inside hopefully they do if not then we'll at least get a lot of good shots of the outside here for you all right guys we're closer to them look at this design here i love the way that it's curved and then goes up yeah i know it's really it's really neat then you look up it's a very impressive structure, indeed. 1893. Heather's pointing out the rosed stained glass up here. Then here's a little plaque telling about the architects. 18, so, okay, this one's saying 1892. Okay. What was confusing is over here, it says 1893. Trees planted. Oh, trees planted. Oh, okay. How cool. We're looking at some stuff here. There's a really cool piece of artwork. It is. Paper cranes. It is. And look at the above the door. And over here. Oh, well, I wonder if there's still an auditorium we can check out in here. Oh, wow. Check that out, guys. Okay, we are in the main you're here and then if you turn around and look yeah the stained glass mist that's really cool let's check this place look at the old furniture above the doors is probably where the teacher's name or the classroom number would be at and look it's still got the old Adjustments you can open up a little window. Yeah, they are. These are some seriously, yeah, there's one out how thick. <laughs> That's a really thick wall. Got some really cool artwork. Look at the windows. Man. This is just so cool. What is? Oh yeah, is that like gold leaf? Watercolor yeah. Watercolor and gold leaf. Watercolor and gold leaf. Yep. That's amazing. This artist likes to use gold leafing. Oh, for artwork. This this one's really cool. I love that. Okay, we're in downtown Morristown now. Look at this building here. I just wonder if it ever had a bell up in the tower or if it was just there for looks but a very cool old school architecture here downtown i love it i love the old downtowns like they just yeah. so it's got so much character yeah because each building is so much different like you see that building and it's completely different than that completely different than that i just love it i think it's neat keep this short for copyright reasons but they do have good music playing under here Check out these old uh, drain spouts here. Looks like they're made of brass. That's really cool. I wonder if there used to be windows here and they just filled them in with brick. It kind of looks that way, or maybe it was just a design of the building. It just looks like they sealed all this off. It used to be windows all through here. Yeah, what do you guys think? I really think these were windows at one point. Because even the old upper little section with this, 
and they've just, for some reason, sealed it off. What do you think, Heather? I think so. And guys, this used to be the door. So, yeah, for some reason, this whole section here has just completely been sealed in. Maybe it's just apartments inside, I don't know. Oh, look at the old display windows here. This is Main Street Collectibles. It says, keep out. So, so I don't get it, like, you're a business, but you want people to keep out. Open when they're open. I'd say so. Or maybe they're just out of business and want people to keep out. We've got the country boutique. Look at all this. Heather has found some cool stuff over here. What'd you find, Heather? A little cactus plant with grass in it. Oh, that's really neat, isn't it? Yeah, it's real. I was thinking it was real. I hear a dog barking inside. But yeah, this is. This looks like a place you might, if you're into antiques and cool boutiques, you might want to check this place out if you come to town. 119, that's not bad. I want to got good prices too. So yeah, definitely, we might have to check this out ourselves today. So for some reason, East Tennessee, we got Jersey Girl Diner. I'm sure there's a good story behind it. I can't figure out why I'd be here, but. Heather says the special looks pretty good. We might have to make this our lunch stop for the day. We'll search around and see. We'll, we'll, we'll find something good. I love the architecture on that little building there. I think that is so it cool. Look it, that's what I was going to say. It looks like the old Wild West buildings. If, like it, in, was, if it were wood instead of brick. Yeah, it reminds me of Tombstone a little bit. Just that one building. Inlaid neon. Apparently have tuxedos for purchase or rentals. And this is like a wedding dress store. That's so cool. And then over here, check it out. It says bridal. That's neat. All that space in that building and one tiny little half covered window. They must not like some. I think it must be vampires that live in there. If you look up here on the side of this building, you can see the remnants of old paint advertising. Sturchies, which is a big name in East Tennessee. Yep. So that must have been the old Sturchies department store that was here. That's really cool. I bet this is one cool spot at night with all the lights. Then look, got some more uh, Harrison Bryant home, or how? Oh, it's paint. Paint, okay, yeah. See, they got the, must have been a paint supplier from back in the day. And then check this out. I just love the ornate architecture on these buildings from back in the day. I mean, you just, just don't do it that way anymore. I know it's cliche, but I really would like to see what's up here in this building that they've sealed off all the upper floors. Heather says they may be structurally unsound, but eh, we don't care about that here. I love that design too. Okay, as we look at this old picture of downtown here, it's changed a little bit, but if we pan out and turn, here we are. How cool is that? And you can tell they've refurbished the old Coca-Cola sign down there. And if you look back over and zoom in, right in the middle of the screen, you can see that same Coca-Cola sign from way back in the day. And see, this says paint when you look on here. Actually, you can't see this building quite that much in it. I thought you could, but not really. Okay, now this is how far back Morristown goes. If you look here, dirt roads and horse and buggies, the occasional old motor car, but this is it. And I'm pretty sure these, a lot of these are the same buildings that we see now. We're waiting across the street. I'm looking at the steeple here. I really love the design of these windows. Look right there, 1907. Okay guys, this is very interesting to me because I'm looking here at this furniture store, but look, the windows are just covered in dust and the inside is like... Zoom into that couch. I mean, Heather put it right. The 80s threw up on this place. Like, look at the dust on the tables in the furniture. Dude, we had the same furniture, the end tables growing up. Let me, but look at the ceiling in here. 
It's got Christmas bows up in it, so I'm saying Christmas of oh, 88. It's a sprinkler system, right? Is that what that is? Yeah, it's a sprinkler system. Oh, it's so weird. You don't see those like that. Yeah. Look at that office chair in front of us, how much dust <laughs> has collected. This is weird. It's just, this place is shut down and it's still like, just, if anyone can get me inside this building, please let me know. If there's anyone in Morristown that can get me in here to explore this. This has been, this has to have been since the 80s. Yeah, it is. I did not notice the Pink Pig Pottery Studio across the street. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we walked up that side over there. Look at the buildings here. This is really cool looking. I love it. Decided to check out an antique store. Oh yeah, this gonna be fun. This is Heather in her natural habitat. We're here picking around. I knew we couldn't do a video without stopping off somewhere to pick. <laughs> it's fun though. Check out that vintage Mickey. And he's not hidden. Huh. Wait, that's not vintage. It's just Sheldon. So Heather came out of the antique store with a new Purchase. She's got a little 70s blow mode of Santa. Mm -hmm. She's very happy. I really love the diversity here in architecture in this little town. Especially this building that says Helms on top of it. Or well, it says it right there. It's like got the front facade, but then it has the roof you can see behind it. I think that's really neat. And then this one, got a little bit of vegetation growing out of the, the architecture work there. I'm thirsty. Yes, that is a silhouette of Davy Crockett himself here at the Crockett Tavern. Look right over there. There's the building through the trees. This is the Davy Crockett Tavern. Okay, so this explains a little bit. This was the this is built by Davy Crockett's parents and also served as his childhood home. This is the old tavern and homestead of Davy Crockett himself, right here in Morristown. It's a little bit of history. I think our dining of choice today is gonna to be the Java Garden, mainly because, check this out. Very lovely outdoor area. And I got some good food. There's a lot of good choices for restaurants here. I think this is gonna be our choice of the day. It even has a nice stone walkway as you go in. Just all the plants and stuff. It's really cool. Okay, I almost forgot to video our food. We we're so hungry. I got a, a ch grilled chicken. Is it pan panay or how do you say it? Panini. Panini. With some chips. I did ask for no onions and they put them on there. Heather got a Reuben with. No, I didn't. What'd you get? It's a turkey sandwich with cranberry sauce. Oh, turkey sandwich with cranberry sauce. And. And I already ate half of it. Yep. <laughs> stop of the day is going to be at a very familiar spot. This is the location of the old campus of Morristown College. If you remember, I just did the director's cut of that old video. And right there, they have redone the old breezeways that connected the two large dormitory buildings and the, uh, the dining hall. They have repurposed those. They are now standing. And even if you look up here, 
where those restrooms are is where the main building stood. They've turned this into a park. The city had to tear down the old buildings and they've turned it into a park. Look at this old tree right here. So beautiful. It's not open to the public yet. They're still doing a lot of construction here. But hopefully soon, hopefully by next year, we'll be able to come here and check this park out. Okay, there you have it, guys. Another episode of One Tank Trips, More Sound, Tennessee. What did you think, Heather? It was really cute. It was. It's a cute little town. It actually was a surprise, you know. I knew it was a cool town, but it had more than I thought. Um, so many cool sights to see here, and I'm sure there's more that we miss. And if you know of anything here that you would like to see or maybe we missed, please comment down below and let us know. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you want to help support this channel, I do sell t-shirts on Spreadshirt. I do have a Patreon where I upload bonus content. So go check those things out, guys. But for now, y'all have a great day.